A nice new feature of the substance integration in Cinema 4D Release 18 is the opportunity to store your substances as presets within the Cinema 4D content browser. And here you can see a number of presets that I've downloaded from the Substance Share site. These are some rocks, and then here's some substances that are a wood type of texture, and here's some metal substances here. And again, these are all just free substances that I downloaded from the Substance Share site. Now, you can, of course, simply manage your SBSAR files on your disk, load them into the scene when you want to use them, and everything's hunky-dory. But you can also store them within the content browser as presets for easy access. So let's take a quick look at how that works. I went on the Substance Share site and downloaded a few more substances from the Nature category. I've got Crusty Lava and the Corals one here. The, both of those looked interesting to me. And we'll go ahead and add them into this scene. The first step in adding a preset is adding the substance into one of your scene files. So we'll go ahead and drag these over into the Substance Asset Manager. And here we have those two. And now what we want to do is simply choose where we want these substances to live within our preset library. So I created my own substance preset library, which you can do by going to File, New Preset Library. And then within that, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new folder named Nature. We'll double click that folder to open it and simply drag the two substances here into that folder. And here you can see that the substances are now a part of this preset library. Now by default, the preview will be this mosaic view of the output channels that are available through that substance. Personally, I'd rather see the nice, pretty rendered sphere. And the way to get that is by going into your preferences. And in the Substance Engine page, change the Content Browser Preview from Output Channel Mosaic to Rendered. And now if we right click on both of these and choose Create Preview, we'll get a nice rendered version of the Substance Preview. Now of course to use any of these substances, you can simply drag them from the Content Browser into your Substance Asset Manager. They need to start there because your substances always have to live in the Substance Asset Manager. And from there, you can drag over an existing material in your scene. If you hold down the Alt key, you can replace the texture that already exists or the material that already exists. And now we can replace all of our rocks with this ore material. And then, of course, in the Attribute Manager, we can adjust the properties of that particular substance. Whether you choose to manage your substance files directly or store them in the Content Browser, Great detailed materials are just a click away with the substance integration in Cinema 4D Release 18 and greater. If you enjoyed this quick tip, please like, share, and visit Cineversity.com for more great Cinema 4D tutorials and resources.